Tonight is the yard site of the Heiliger Rav Shetzer Rebbe, Rav Naftali Tzvi Horowitz, who was born actually on the very same day that the Baal Shem Tov passed away on the Shavuot of 1760. And as Chazal say, when the sun sets, the sun then rises. And so as the, uh, the Or Shiva Sayamim, the light of the seven days, the Baal Shem Tov left the world, the great Tzadik of Naftali Tzvi was born he came into the world. He was a Talmud of the Heiliger Rebbe, the Rebbe of Melech of Lezhensk. And then later, the Talmud of the Magad of Kozhnitz and Rebbe Nachman of Rimenov. And his main Rebbe was the Chayz of Lublin. Um, the uh, the Rapshitzer was famous for his sharp wit. His, he was a Chacham, a tremendous Chacham, a very, very wise man. And the the Chayza once rebuked him and says, "Tomim tia em Hashem lokecha." One should be simple and and push it in the before God. And you're such a wise person, just be keach, always questioning, probing. So the uh, the Rav Shitzer responded to him, "One has to be very very wise to be a tomim. It's not something that comes naturally. You have to in order to be a tomim before God, you have to actually be very wise." He's someone who had very little patience for those who were fools. Um, and they're very well-known lines that he said, a fool till his death, I would run after him, say, you're a fool, you're a fool. Um, in, in using his sharp wit and intellect, he would, was served as a badchan. He would tell jokes. They still have this practice today in, in Hasidic weddings. At the end of the wedding, they hire a badchan who would, who would sing gramen, um, rhymes and songs and doing so poking fun at the couple at the families all in good in good jest and it was considered to be a, a, a bracha and he would do it and people felt like oh this great tzaddik he's spending his time as a badchan but those who knew knew that his badchan is his very sharp wit and intellect and, and getting people to laugh was actually on the surface was that he was showing his the great wit that he had but on a, on a much deeper level he was actually in, uh, expressing deep deep ideas of yichud of drawing together the name of hashem to show actually the oneness expressing the oneness of hashem the world is a world of, of, of separation and our job part of our job in this world is to actually to to join together the those things that appear as separate and to express the oneness oneness of Hashem and that's what he would uh, do um, but hiding it masking it with his with his bat um, he uh, he had a difficult time in marriage he was actually divorced from his first wife and then his second wife also was very challenging to him um, she was a woman who was very frugal, and there's a well-known story that I would always share, and some of you may have heard this, but in Poland, one of my favorite stories, that his wife, a frugal woman, um, would keep the, the schmaltz, the chicken fat, under lock and key. And she said she knew exactly how much schmaltz should go into the, into the kugel. But he wanted uh, more. You know, everyone knows that a tasty kugel is one that has more oil in it, and it gets really crusty on the bottom. So he felt more, more schmaltz should go into the kugel. So she didn't trust her husband. She kept it in a cupboard with a key, and she kept the key on her person. Um, and what, what he would do was, is when she was so a woman who davened with a lot of kavana, when she would be davening on Thursday afternoon, Friday morning, and she'd had so much kavana that he'd reach in to her house coat without her noticing, pull out the key, unlock, the, uh, unlock the cupboard, pull out chicken fat, throw it into the kugel, and return the key without her even noticing. And the next day would come, Shabbos, she'd pull out the kugel, and it would be overflowing, heaping kugel and, and sizzling. And she would turn to her husband and would say, you see, I know exactly how much to put in. She says, you know, you're right. It's only because of your tefillot, your prayers, 
and my good deeds, my mass and tovin, that we have such a kugel. May he be a male to Yosha for all of us and all of Klai Yisrael. Kal Tov.